let's go to the book then again and let's get into some of the sure. details of the book. Like I said, it it really got me twisting and turning right at the beginning. And I wasn't sure what was going on because it very much begins, and clearly this was deliberate, Robert, but yeah. it begins like a good sort of cold war cold war spy story where you've got you've got a you've got a mole in the intelligence community and they right. catch him and they take him to a safe house and then and then he's assassinated he's he's right. killed and and clearly we're now dealing with international intrigue and boy did i get whiplash when we when um, we ended up where we ended up you're not you're not the only one because <laughs> you've got this spy thing going on on the one side um that starts out in the first number of uh, chapters and then all of a sudden you got a totally different direction where um a couple of people in the spy agency have some private issues where a um, woman uh, who is a friend of the heroine of the book, mm -hmm. uh, who's who's in the CIA, their their colleagues, uh, suddenly uh, her husband dies by taking his own life. And the reason he did that was because of a of a horrific uh, crime against them that had taken place yeah. two years before. Yeah. And so now you're in a crime thriller. Now you're in this crime mystery and thriller and you're saying, well, wait a minute, I was just in this spy thing and now we're in this crime thing and and Bidonato's writing this story about the criminal justice system yeah. and this mysterious journalist by the name of Dylan Hunter, who nobody can figure out what his background is exactly, is writing these articles about uh, about criminals who have been getting released early such as the perpetrators of the crime against these mutual friends of of himself and right. uh, and the heroine De uh, Annie Woods right and so so when that happens people are getting whiplash and i intended that i'm people are saying well wait a minute how does yeah. this all fit together here what what well, are you doing you know and i'll be honest i had sort of forgotten about the original assassination Many i had, I, had, I i I, I totally forgot about it because I got so entrenched with the local crime issues in the DC area. And the, and so, you know, it was very well done. Then, was it, was it always mapped out that way? Or did you start to tell it in a more linear narrative? And then you thought, Oh, wait a minute, I could do this thing. I had to work. I worked at the plotting of all of my novels. Um, well ahead of time. I like to know where things are going to go and how they're going to, uh, how they're going to work out. There are people who write seat of the pants. There are people who, who write um, <clears throat> in, in a very um, uh, organized way, plotters and plant uh, and pantsers, they call the huh. two, the two poles. And I'm definitely on the plotter side. I have okay. to know everything before I can write anything. And uh, huh. so I had the architecture of the plot all worked out. And that took me a long time to figure out because that. there are twists and turns galore in this and uh, so, some big surprises along the way as to uh, who these people really are and what the connection is with the CIA and everything else. And yeah. so, uh, now, so I, I have a theory when, when you write a book about an assassin, when you write a book about, about a person, I mean, this is these are premeditated, no matter how righteous yeah. they are. These sure. are premeditated killings. He he plans them out, and it's and and you get into the detail and the depths of how it's planned out. And he is a killing machine. And I think that we are wh whether we're born with this naturally or our Western uh, Judeo Christian ethic sort of has raised us to to recognize that immediately that's wrong. So it yeah. has to. So so we have to be told that it's okay. But 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 that's one thing. What you've been able to do with your character, and I'd love for you to, if, if you had to confront this or have to actually have to deal with this with your craft, yes. you you don't actually have to make the reader accept the fact that this protagonist character is a is killing people. Mm -hmm. You have to make us root for him. You yes. have to make us want to be there with him, helping him kill, and we're not inherently prepared to do that. Do you know what I mean? I uh, Exactly. Um. You know, you can get away with things in fiction that I would never recommend people try in real life. <laughs> yeah.